So one of the settings I actually forgot to do in the last video was to properly set up our authentication guard. And we are going to start off by doing that. So let's get back here. And we are going to go to off the PHP. And right here, we can be able to set up our authentication guard and um, as well as set a couple of things like the models and all that stuff. All right. So what we are going to do now is we are going to start first of all by setting our default guard. And our default guard is going to be not web. All right, our default guard is going to be users, and um, we can just leave the passwords to be users. And and what we're going to do is we can very easily use generic name of API, but usually for me, I I don't like it so much because um, sometimes your API could actually have multi users. Maybe you could have a super admin, you could have an admin, you could have uh, maybe sellers and buyers. You understand what I mean? There could be a lot of users. A lot of user or that or this wouldn't be so good so now let's comment that off and what we are going to do now is we are going to say users all right remember our default guard here is users so we actually want to set users here and um this is going to be an array and our driver is going to be jwt remember that's actually what we asked we set up for and the provider is also going to be users and um all right, our provider is also going to be users. And um, that's not all. We are also going to set the models, all right? So we're going to set our providers. So let's come down here now, user providers. And, um, okay, are we going to make any change here? Mm, not really, no, no, I think this is good. Uh, we're going to use Eloquent as our driver. And our model is going to be the user model or the user class model, all right? And the last thing we are going to do is our reset the reset of our password. And um, that is also okay. That is fine. So now we have done that. We can now save this. And um, the next thing we are also going to do now is to set up our course. All right. So we are going to create a new middleware. All right. We're going to create a new middleware. And we're going to call that middleware course. So... We're going to say php at season make middleware. You can call it whatever, but I like to call mine cause. Uh, I'm going to call this middleware cause, all right? php at season make middleware cause, and we just wait a couple of seconds for it to scaffold, all right? And now we can just go to cause, and here we have our middleware called cause. So what we want to do next is to set the headers. So we are going to set the headers and what we are going to do here is just get in, all right? So we are going to set the headers right here. Oh, let's do this over a new line. And we are going to set the header, the headers. And the first we want to set is to access allow origin, access control allow origin, all right? Access control allow origin. And now the next header is going to be, we're going to be allowing certain kind of requests, all right? So access, control, allow methods. Uh, control, yes, that should be it, allow. Methods, access, control, allow methods. And we are going to be allowing um, put, get, and um, we're also going to allow post delete and options okay and the next thing we are also going to be setting in the headers access access control our headers uh, access all right yeah it's access control allow headers and here we want to allow uh, origin content type some of these setups can be tiring, trust me. So we want to allow origin. We also want to allow content type. We want to allow accept. We want to allow authorization. Authorize authorization. We want to allow X request bits. All right. Alt Z just to break that into 
New line, and we want to allow catch control. All right. And the last header we are going to be setting here should be allow credentials, right? Which we are going to set to be true. All right. Okay, let me just get this so I can, yes. And we are going to set this to be true. And this is going to be access. All right. Control. Allow. Credentials. And this should be set as true. All right. Okay, so we're going to be adding this now. We're going to be adding the course file to our kernel. And um, we're going to do it because, all right, once we set this up in the kernel, it should be able to reflect on the whole application globally. Okay. So now all we just need to do right here is go to our kernel. And here, now we are going to add that here. And we are going to say this is in the app, all right? It's in the app, HTTP, and um, oh, let me copy this. Ash HTTP is in the middleware folder, and we actually call this class cause, all right? So by actually adding this here in our kind of, we kind of make this universal, um, or basically we kind of make the whole application to be able to use this cause file. And um, we are also going to be adding this in our route middleware. All right. And um, now let's just go down to our route middleware. And I think that should be the last place we're going to add this. So right in our route middleware, we want to add this. So we want to actually give it a name, cause, um, so that in our um, application, we can be able to access that. And I'm going to copy this thing here, uh, right here. I'm going to copy that here. Cause middleware and all right. Now I'll just paste that in here. So now that is set for that. Okay. And now the next thing we want to do is to go straight up to our user model. All right. So let's go there straight up. Is that a PHP? And what we are going to do here is we want this user model to be able to use JSON web token, right? So we are now going to um, implement uh, before or uh, after we implement JWT subject. This is actually in the official documentation. So, right, we're going to implement JWT subject. And after now, we are also going to import JWT subject, right? Use um right eliminate foundation and auth user okay as authenticable oh oh can you imagine we already have this right here okay so since we already have that all i'll just do is to delete this and that means that what we are going to do is import jwt subject so we're gonna honestly all the setup sometimes uh, they really bore me out but they are important for anybody to get along with this video. So time on GWT auth slash 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 um contracts, right? Yeah, contract and slash GWT subject. GWT subject. And now this is going to implement JWT subject. And we are also going to write a couple of functions right here. And all these are in the JWT, um, time of JWT's um, documentation. So we're going to say public function get JWT identifier. Identifier. All right, get JWT, it should be in capital letter. So get JWT identifier. And we want to open call the braces and we're going to return this and get key. Okay. We're going to return this to get key. And 
we're gonna have another function here too say public function get jwt custom claims get jwt oh. What's, what, what am i actually typing today and why am i so slow today all right custom claims and um get jwt custom claims and we are going to return an empty array so as i said all these are in the documentation if you want to go go read more about it and um yeah jwt identifier i'm making I think i'm making a mistake here this should be capital letter and this too should be capital letter so get jwt custom claims get jwt identifier all right so we have set up our model and now the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our fillable all right so that we can be able to have a couple of things right here and um, because it's not just going to be name email and password alone um as you know the first time the user registers will require him to upload an image of his face and we're going to be using face api.js to check whether that's actually a face or not and um so we'll be needing an image so we are going to add a field here so this would be name email password and image all right image name email password image i think that should be all i think that's all name image name email password and image and now we are going to save that and um the next thing we want to do right now is to perform our migration so php at season uh php at season migrate right and now that should create our tables for us and let me go get my browser that has actually created migrated our user stable our password reset stable so let's just open our browser so that we can see that now so let's go to our database php my admin and so here we are root and our password is 07067 okay and now and we should see the tables created yep so our user's table has been created the name the email email verified at password remember token created at and updated at and our password reset table has also been created the email the token and when it was actually created okay so now that that is actually done what we want to do here is personally what i like to do is i like to create a um inside of our controllers i don't want to use this default so and i would like to create a new folder here and just call this user and right inside of our user folder we are going to have a couple of folders so php artisan make controller and this controller should be in users folder and our controller and we get an error what is that for make oh 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 oh, oh sorry uh a bit rusty because i haven't written laravel in quite some time all right so our controller is being it has been created and the reason i actually did that is so that i can um scaffold this basic thing for us and set up our namespace and the couple basic things that we are going to be using and also we are going to need our model which we just which is actually the user model so we are going to use app and slash user okay we are also going to be needing jwt so use jwt art and we are also going to use another package from time on jwt which is time on uh, time on jwt art oh sorry Time JWT auth slash exceptions. Okay, let me just type that then once I'm done typing. I wanna explain that. Okay. Slash um G WT exceptions. Alright, so we're also going to need validator. Uh, 
and um, I think that should be all for now. Okay, so we imported a couple of packages. We use the GWT authentication package and then the exception package, and then we use Laravel's validator, which is for which is when we're going to be using for perform our validation. All right, so the next thing we are going to do now is to start writing our functions. And um, we're going to call, call this a variable set login after sign up. So basically what we want to do is once the user signs up or registers, we want to log the user in. And when even if the user decides to log in, we also want to log the user in. And we'll create a new variable here called user and another here called base URL. And we are going to create our constructor, right? And our constructor, uh, we want to first of all let's um, get our model, so new user. Okay. And um, now we want to do registration. So we're going to write the function, public function. I'm going to call this register. User 